In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fully automated sales funnel completely for free. Now, this is something that would not have been possible just a few years ago, 10 or 15 years ago, you would have had to pay thousands of dollars for a developer to custom code all of these different pages and different things that you need to make this work. And even just like five years ago, you could do this on your own, but you would have had to pay hundreds of dollars for the different pieces of software that you need. But today it's possible to do it completely for free, which is amazing. And it really shows that today is the best time there ever has been to start an online business. So I've spent basically all morning playing around with different software options to find a combination of softwares that not only are free, but also play really well together to be able to create a seamless and professional sales funnel to sell your products with. Now I was totally up for this challenge, but I was expecting that we were going to have to hobble together a bunch of different softwares and it was going to end up looking kind of janky and definitely DIY. But after playing around with a bunch of things, and seeing all the different kind of capabilities that a few different softwares have, I've found a solution where we can use just one main software as the backbone of the whole thing and just a couple different add-on pieces of software. So the whole thing ends up looking really seamless and professional, and it will be really simple and easy for you to build as well. Now, if you wanna jump straight into the tutorial, then just click the timestamp in the description below and you can zoom ahead to that point or you can just keep on watching and I'm gonna talk about just a few of the different software options that I considered and their capabilities and also about the different important funnel assets that you need to make this whole system work and what we're going to actually be creating. So first of all, let's just talk about all the different things that you need in order to be able to build a funnel, whether you're building it for free or you're paying a ton of money for it. First, you'll need a website where people can go to find out about your business and about your product and to get into your sales funnel. Then you're going to need some sort of free offer or a wait list, something that people can sign up for so that they can enter your funnel and you can start talking to them. And that talking to them will probably be in the form of a promotional email sequence that gets automatically sent out to them and tells them about your product. You might also want to include a webinar. Now this is totally optional, but it can really make your sales funnel perform a lot better. Obviously you're also going to need a product, something that you are selling, and you might need a sales page. Now you might be surprised that that's optional, but it is because you can send people directly to the checkout page where they can purchase your product. And that's the next thing you need, a checkout page or a shopping cart. And then finally, you need some way that when someone actually clicks that buy now button, you're able to process their credit card. And that's called a payment processor. Now, of course, you could complicate this further, but those are the bare basics of what you need to build a sales funnel. So those are the things we're going to be creating in this tutorial for free. These days, there are so many different awesome options for different software you can use to create each of these assets. A few of the ones that I played with and considered for this setup include, first of all, for building your website, you could use Google Sites, you could use MailChimp's free website builder or MailerLite's free website builder or Square's free website builder. Then for setting up those email campaigns, you'll need an email marketing marketing software. And MailChimp, MailerLite, and ConvertKit all have really good free plans. And then finally, for that shopping cart and payment processor piece, you could use a combination of ConvertKit's free selling tool, or Teachable, or Square, or Stripe. Now there are tons of different ways you could mix and match these different softwares to create a free sales funnel. But like I mentioned a few minutes ago, I really wanted to avoid making something that was janky and looked DIY and I was hoping I could find a solution that looked more seamless and professional and was simpler to create and to operate. And I figured out that of all those different softwares, the one that checks the most of the boxes and can really be that backbone is MailerLite. Now MailerLite 
Hotmail was already one of my favorite email marketing platforms because they have a great software and provide great features, but also they have the best free plan available, hands down. It has so many advanced features that other software doesn't offer, even on some of their paid plans, which is awesome. But then I discovered that you can also build a website with MailerLite for free. And if you upgrade, you can even sell products directly on MailerLite. But with a couple really simple integrations, you can sell with it using Stripe. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be using MailerLite as the backbone, and then we're going to be adding on Stripe and optionally a couple other little software options, but it's ending up so seamless, so professional, and so easy, honestly. Now, in case you're wondering, no, MailerLite is not sponsoring this video. In fact, they don't even know that I'm making it, but I think that they provide a great software, so many features for free, which is awesome. So, of course, I signed up for their affiliate program, and if you want to support my channel, then if you choose to use MailerLite, I would love it if you used my link in the description down below, just to give me a little bit of a kickback if you ever do upgrade your account. The first step is simply to create an account with these two software we are going to use, MailerLite and Stripe. Both of these accounts are completely free and they're also really easy to set up. You're just going to need to type in your name and your business name and your email and create a password. And by the way, pro tip here, if you are starting a new business and you haven't yet officially registered your business name, you will definitely want to use your own name as your business name because that is the most legal thing to do rather than operating under a fictitious non-legal name. Once you have your accounts created, you'll want to create your product and you're going to do that in Stripe. Now this is super easy. All you need to do is add your product's name and a price. However, we are going to be using Stripe as your checkout page. So I would recommend adding a description that just explains what your product is or what's included or what people are going to get when they purchase. Next, you need to actually create the checkout page. And this part is beyond easy. You just click this create payment link button and then you can preview what that's going to look like. And if you're using this option, you'll probably want to add a description here so that people know exactly what they're getting with this product. But this page is pretty much ready to go as is. So you can just click create link and then this page will exist and you can send people to this page to purchase your product. With your product created, you can move on to creating your website. So you're going to do this with Mailer Lights website builder, which is completely free as with everything else in this video. So you just need to give your site a name. Now I'd recommend that you go ahead and create a website, not just a landing page, because that's gonna serve you better on into the future, but technically right now you only need a landing page. Now you need to choose a template for your website. They have a lot of different templates that look nice. I'm going to go with this one right here that's called Digital Courses. Step five is to add an email opt-in form to your website. So since we're building a sales funnel and not just setting up a product for sale on your website, we need to have a way that people can give you their contact information so that you can follow up with them and tell them more about your product and help them figure out whether or not it's right for them and help them decide to buy it if it is. And how you're going to do that is via email and possibly via a webinar as well, but you can only deliver those messages to them if you have their email address. So you need to add a forum to your site that allows them to give you their email address. And this is going to work the best if you give them a reason to sign up. So there are three main reasons I'd recommend you could use. The first one is maybe you offer some sort of related free resource. So this could be a short free workshop related to the topic of your product. It could be a checklist or a short guide, but some sort of freebie that they get if they sign up for your email list. Another option that's even simpler is to just create a wait list for your product. So you might have a page on your site that tells a little bit about your product that's coming soon, or you 
you can just create a simple form and people can sign up to find out when your product will be available. And then finally, and this might be the easiest option of all, is you can just have people sign up for your newsletter, but you can promise some sort of value in your newsletter. So the value is the newsletter itself and what they're going to learn from your newsletter. To set up this opt-in form on your MailerLite website, what you'll need to do is first of all, create a form in the forms section of the MailerLite dashboard. First of all, you need to go to the forms tab in the main menu. And then I'd recommend you click on embedded forms and then you'll just click to create. Then you're going to name your form and you'll want to name it based off of whatever they are signing up to get. So for this example, let's just say that we're making a wait list. So we'll call this the awesome course wait list. People who are interested in purchasing your course when it comes out. And then we want it to be an embedded form. So we just click save and continue. And then you'll want to create a group for your waitlist if that's what you're doing. And you'll want to check that group so that people who sign up for this form get added to that list of people on the waitlist. And then you can design what this form looks like. And then once the form is created, you'll need to copy the HTML and then add that to some part of your website so that the form is displayed and people can fill it out. We are getting so close to having this funnel all finished. And the next step is to create a sales page for your product if you want to. Technically, this step is totally optional because you can just tell people about your product in your emails and maybe in your webinar and then send them straight to that checkout page that you created with Stripe. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but if you want people to be able to purchase your product directly on your website without going through the whole funnel, or if you feel like people will want to visit a sales page and read more about it, then you can definitely do this. You'll want to create a new page on your MailerLite website and then design that page, adding a picture of your product and all the details about it, maybe some testimonials if you have them. And then you'll want to add a button that says something like buy now or sign up and you'll link that button to your Stripe checkout page. The next step is one of the most important and that is to create an email campaign that promotes your product. What you need to do is you need to go to these automations and then you're going to create a new automation. And then you want to select the form that you want to be at the top of your sales funnel. So I'm selecting my awesome course wait list. And then you click save. And so now your automation has gotten started and you just need to add the next step. Now you could add a delay or a condition or something like that, but we're just gonna go ahead and add the email. So what is the first email you want them to receive? You're probably going to add a series of emails here to promote your product. And you're going to put in here the name that you're giving that email, as well as the subject line, who it's from and all of this. And then you'll just hit this button right here to design the email. And you can decide exactly how you want to do this. Do you want to use the drag and drop editor to make more of a multimedia email? Or do you want to just type some text or do custom HTML? But whichever one you choose, you can design the email and actually write the content of it. Now the final optional step of this free sales funnel setup is to add a webinar. Like I said, this is optional. You don't have to do it. But in my experience, adding a webinar to an automated funnel tends to double the conversion rate. So literally twice as many people will buy your product if you add a webinar. However, adding a webinar is a fair amount of work, so you might wanna skip this step at first and then add it later on. If you wanna add a webinar, then there are two different options. One is you could add a live webinar. Now this doesn't necessarily make a ton of sense with the automated setup that we're doing, but if you wanna do a live webinar, I'd recommend using Zoom because most people are familiar with it and it is free at least for up to a 40 minute meeting. If you want to do a longer webinar than that, then you can upgrade your account. Now, on the other hand, and what is more relevant to our automated setup would be to do a pre-recorded 
webinar or to use a recording of a live webinar that you did. For this, I'd recommend that you upload the recording of your webinar to Vimeo, and then you embed the Vimeo video onto a page of your website. Now, the reason for this is because first of all, it's gonna look really seamless and professional because people will be going to your website to watch your webinar, not to a public platform like YouTube or to Vimeo's site itself. The other reason is because you'll have full control over what is on that web page. So for example, you can include a link to your product so that people can purchase directly from that page. And that's it. At this point, you have built an entire sales funnel and you've done so completely for free. The funnel starts on your website where people can learn about you and your brand and your products and about your product that's coming soon or about something that you can help them with. They'll sign up for one of your email opt-in forms, which allows you to contact them and it will add them to your promotional email sequence. So then they'll get a series of emails that tell them more about your product and give them the opportunity to buy it. You might tell them in those emails about a webinar that they can attend. They might attend that webinar and feel very persuaded to buy your product. And either through those emails or through the webinar, they're going to click the link to purchase your product, which will take them to your Stripe checkout page and allow them to purchase. No matter what system you use to create your sales funnel, it's going to require a bit of work. Now, I was able to set up the funnel that I was demonstrating in this video in less than an hour, but that was without writing all of the email copy and deciding exactly what I want to say, which I find is typically the most time consuming part of the process. However, with the setup that I shared with you today, the process is completely free. So it's only going to cost you the time and it won't cost you any money at all. And I think that's pretty cool. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful. If so, of course, be sure to give it a like, but also I wanted to let you know that coming up next week, I'm going to be going through a sales funnel planning template that I created, a template for creating a high converting sales funnel. And I'm gonna be walking you through exactly how to plan a sales funnel of your own so that you can save some time as you are creating it. Because if you just walk into this not knowing exactly what you're creating, or what you want to say or how the funnel is going to work. It'll take you a lot longer and it's a lot less likely to convert well. But if you take the time to make a plan first, then you can be a lot more strategic about it. So anyway, I'm gonna walk you through how to create a plan. I have a free template to share with you to create your own plan as well. And I'm also going to be sharing quite a lot of secrets for making your funnel convert better so it can be more profitable. All that is coming up in next week's video, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. My name is Gillian Perkins. I hope you're having an amazing week. I love you and I'll see you next time.